Oh hi, it's your boy, Justin Time Carter, with another Magic the Gathering box opening here. We got ourselves a fat pack, or tin drift, drift. Tin draft booster packs for Modern Horizons 2 just came out. Um... I opted, I've considered doing a full actual box of this, but just like Time Spiral Remaster, uh, a full box of Modern Horizons 2 is like about $270 to almost $300 right now, and I'm not about that. Um, I was looking up some prices on those, like a lot of the old border fetch lands and stuff are going, That one of those will pay for this box alone, let's just say that. So, let's open this up. We got a very sexy box. I never keep this. This is garbage. But this is a very nice deck box. And inside, we got our dice. Ooh, it's purple. It's blue with gold numbering. This is one of the reasons why I always get this box, too, is I collect these dice with the little symbols on them. So... That's pretty dope. And then we got our uh, just an empty box. And then we have our 10 boosters that we're going to open. And then a pack of lands. And then I believe these are foil lands. And it also comes with this Yusiri Fortunes. Oh my god, it's not even in frame. <laughs> it comes with this Yusiri's Fortunes Flame card. Hollow, very nice. Pack one. Let's see what we get here. I know it's been a minute since I posted. A minute since I posted. Um, I don't think I posted any. I opened a bunch of uh, boxes and boosters for Strixhaven, the new, the new hotness. I don't think I got the chance to post anything though. Foul Watcher. Rift Sower, Unholy Heat, we got Sinister Starfish, ooh, Late to Dinner, love the art on that, that looks and sick, Bone Shards, Faithless Salvaging, Jade Avenger, we got uh, Aromiba, hey, Chatterstorm, look at that little squirrely boy, Graceful Restoration, very nice art on that. A Taliban Watcher, Squirrel Sovereign, ooh, Counter Spell, and our rare is Inevitable Betrayal. Suspend, and then you get to search your target opponent's library for a creature card and put that card onto the battlefield under your control. Wow, that's pretty cool. And a treasure token. Next pack. So yeah, I didn't do too much research. I know the lands, like the fetch lands and stuff, are like the cards you really want to get. I know there's probably some other pretty expensive cards and stuff in the set. I just, I won't know until I actually look up the prices on these. We have So Shiny, Revolutionist, Flourishing Strike, World Weary, Thanatna's Ploy, a Dark Moss Bridge, Arcbound Moose, Foundry Helix, we got Someone's Companion, we got a Dross Forge Bridge, we got the Sphinx, Break the Ice, Altar of the Goyf, we got yeah my elder and our rare is territorial Kianu. And when attacked, you can discard a card and draw, otherwise exile up to one target card from a graveyard. And a squirrel. He's like Bruh. Next pack. Have you guys missed I have a ton of shit to be making some new videos. I got a bunch of Legos to build. Um, I still need that Digimon card game. 
opening thing. I still have those laying around. We got Parcel Mirror, Vishna Lashclaw, Banner Hide, Kush. We got Arcbound Prototype, World Weary, Arcbound Moose, Drossforge Bridge, Oop. Piercing Rays. Then we got another. God, they love their fucking bridges, man. Chrome Courier, Capricrome. Vulcan, Vulcan Infiltrator, Underworld Cookbook, and our rare is, ooh, Vindicate. This is actually pretty good. One black, one white, one whatever. Destroyed target permanent. That's pretty nice. <gasps> Whoa, and another rare? Sanctum Weaver. Add X man of any color where X is the number of enchantments you control. Wow, that's pretty good. Fuck, it would probably help if it was in frame. And a squirrely boy. Next. Yeah, sorry all this shit's fucking out of frame. I don't know. It's obviously been a minute since I've done this. Alright, we got hard evidence. We got the Reaver. We got an Urban Dagger Tooth. Ethereum Spinner. Break those ties. Hellmongrel, Wave Sifter, we got the Floodhound, look at that boy, so sad, Jade Avenger, we got the Shakiri, Goif, Essence, the Elder, and our first Mythic Fury, Double Strike, 5 mana, 3-3, three, three. When it enters the battlefield, it deals 4 damage divided you choose among a number of target creatures and or planeswalkers. And a clue. Next pack. I don't know how we've really been doing. I think we're doing maybe okay. I don't think that mythic is super crazy though. We got the, the mana core. We got an aerialist. We got uh, run the jewels. Arcbound prototype. World Weary, Unbounded Potential, ooh, Goblin Archromancer, Old Border, very nice, um, Abundant Harvest, we got the Ornithopter, we got the Arcbound Shakiri, we got the Goif, Flay Essence, um, we got this Milliken, and our rare is Sanctum Weaver with it's a hollow land, but it's not the hollow land that we want. But pretty cool, it's an artifact land. And a squirrel. Next pack. I will say, so far, I think the foiling in this pack has, is a lot better than what Time Spiral was. And even, I'd say it's even better than Strixhaven. Um, seems really nice. We got ourselves a battle plan. Crack open. Locus focus. Soul of migration. Sinister starfish. <laughs> Late to dinner. Love that art still. Jade Avenger. Terminal agony. We got the chatter storm with the old border. Very nice. I know squirrels are real big right now. Step through. Terramorph. We got the Watcher. The Ghost and Drifter. And our rare is Braids. Cabal Minion. Four mana. Legendary creature. Beginning of each player's upkeep. That player sacrificed an artifact creature. Wow, that's pretty good. And the Mythic. Holy Khalil, Endurance. Uh, when Endurance enters the battlefield, up to one that puts all the cards in their graveyard to the bottom of their library. Nice. That might be worth something. And an elemental token. Four packs left. Um, so far we've gotten a couple mythics. That's actually pretty good. I mean, out of ten boosters. I'm not going to complain about that. Lightning Spear. Cool looking art. So shiny. We got the Lash Claw. Loathsome Curator, we got the Knighted Martyr, 
Slagwoods, Bridge, we got the Foundrix, Drossmoss, Echoing Return, we got the Ploy, we got a Sphinx, Squirrel Sanctuary, alright, that's pretty good. We got the Chattering Augur, Hunting Pack, and our rare is Necrogoyf. Lumigorf. Power is equal to the number of creature cards in all graveyards. And a treasure. Next pack. Yeah. Oh. The Dungeons and Dragons packs coming out next. So we're going to be opening some of those. We got this Arcbound Tracker. We got the Deepwood Denizen. We got Hard Evidence for Bone Shards. We got a Guardian Dog. We got this Bridge. Ooh, Dray Keeper. Look at all those squirrels. We got Tragic Fall. The Fairground Patrol. We got Disturning Taste. Feast of Sanity. Ooh, Squirrel Sovereign, another old border card. We got Scuttle Tide. And our rare, ooh, Shardless Agent. That's a good one. I know that one I think is worth a little bit of money. And... Damn! Got one of the lands, boys. Verdant Catacombs. Look at that. Tap. This is a big hit. That's a good one. And a Victory Crab Token. Second to last pack. That was a great pool. That was a great pack. Um, hopefully we can get another one of those. I'll take another land. Shattered Ego. We got the Lightning Spear. We got an Abundant Aerialist. Some Loathsome Curator. Knighted Martyr. We got the Kitchen Imp. The Aromibia in the old blue border. Galvic Relay. We got this Phasmal Dreadmaw. Barbed Spike. We have a lot of these cool alternate art cards. Flame Tongue Yearling. We got the Tazotep Chancellor. Soul Snare. And Priest Quack. of Felrites. Pay three life. Unearth it. 2 2. Pretty cool. And a Hollow Landscaper Kolos with the Squirrel Token. Last pack. We're going to give this. We're going to do this Little Mermaid a uh, kiss for good luck. All right. We got this. One more fetch land. Come on. One more fetch land. Or a good hit. See what we got. <coughs> Ugh. Lose focus. Arcbound tracker. We got the Deepwood Denizen. Oh, bone shards. We got the courier. We got the the um the we got fodder tosser. We got the breathless knight. Tormod's crypt keeper. We got the razor tide bridge. Timeless witness. Healer's flock. Arc bound whip. Sea Drake, another Necrogoyf, and a zombie army. All right, so all in all, I'd say we did pretty good. Um, Verdant Catacombs is obviously the best thing that we pulled. But, I mean, we pulled, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... 9, 10, 11 rares out of 10 boosters. And we got two mythics. Um, I don't think this one did very good. I think this one's worth a decent amount. But I don't think we really hit any big bombs, like I said, besides the fetch land. I know Vindicate's good. A lot of doubles. This Sanctum Weaver, we pulled doubles on. And this Necrogoyf, we pulled doubles on, which... It's kind of surprising out of 10 booster packs, we literally got two different doubles. 
So, and it's not a small set. It's 303 cards in the main set. So, that's kind of crazy. But, anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope to be posting more content here. I have a bunch of stuff to open and build. So, more videos should be on the way. Thanks again for watching, and uh, have a good one.